Hello guys and uh, welcome to another tutorial from Master Android channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to download and install Flutter on Windows and make it working properly. So don't miss to subscribe and like. Keep us making new videos. So just like and subscribe and even if you have any questions you can uh, ask them on the uh, description below. So let's start our tutorial. In order to install Flutter, we will go to the official Flutter website, flutter.io. So this is flutter.dev is the official site also. We go through this website and we scroll down to see get started we click on get started waiting to responding so in this video we will see how to install flutter on windows we select windows And we scroll down to to install and run a Flutter. Your development environment must meet these minimum requirements. So the operating system should be Windows 7 or later. And disk space is 400, excluding uh, the IDE tools. We will see later the tools. Windows PowerShell. This is pre-installed with Windows 10. So no need to reinstall it if you have Windows. We need now to install Git for Windows. So use Git from Windows command prompt. So uh, we, I will download Git for Windows uh, in my way. So in order to download Git, we will open it in new Windows and new window and we click on download. So, so it automatically detect the 64-bit version of uh, Windows waiting to download. When it is finished, we click start, uh, start the installer. Waiting the installer. And we click next. We go through the setup process. And this choosing the default editor. Use uh, open. Please uh, follow these steps. So we need here to use Windows default console window. So we can uh, uh, open Git and use it from uh, our command prompt. Waiting the extraction uh, files process. And waiting the setup. And when it is finished, we need to make some commands. So now we will get the Flutter SDK. At the command line, go to the desired installation location of the Flutter SDK. So now we need to clone the repo using Git. So we go to CMD, run as administrator. We open our command prompt and paste the command. Press enter and now the cloning into Flutter and Flutter SDK will be downloaded. So the default, uh, the default uh, uh, path of the Flutter would be C, SRC or sources, then Flutter. We will go to Flutter console, we click on, click on it, and it will appear here. So Flutter is installed. Welcome to Flutter console. We, we will execute some, uh, some uh, commands in order to see the Flutter, if it's working or not. So till here, it's very good. We are going very fine. 
So, you are now ready to run Flutter commands from your console. But one thing, in order to ensure that we, uh, we set up uh, the Flutter uh, and you can use it in uh, our commands, we go to Control Panel, we search for Advanced, we need to see the advanced system settings. We click on advanced environmental variables and we select the path. So what we are doing, we are making sure that the flutter is working uh, in all, uh, in any place in our computer. So we copy that flutter uh, path we add in the path uh, section, we add a new environmental variable, we paste it, and we ensure everything is working good. So, OK, click OK. And now we can enter or uh, uh, enter Flutter, or we can use Flutter in all places in our computer. So, we install the SDK, we are uh, ensuring that Flutter is working good by using Flutter Doctor. So what is Flutter Doctor? Flutter Doctor will make a summary to see if Flutter is uh, installed in your uh, computer properly and ensuring that Android Studio and gives its version and see the uh, and uh, gives you the connecting devices and the Android tool channel. So my case Flutter is working good and Android Studio is 3.4. I'm updating it to 3.5 and I posted a video on how to update Android Studio to 3.5. Thank you guys and thanks. This is all about Flutter setup.